Let's get started. Nice quick workout with the stability ball. We're gonna start with crunches, your basic crunch. So you're gonna get on the stability ball harder. You're gonna have more of your body off, a little easier. You're gonna go right here, a little bit more of your body supported. Let's go, 30 seconds worth. Nice deep breaths. The great thing about going by time is you may do a couple reps when you're a beginner. Take your time, take breaks. As you get stronger, you're gonna put more of your body off the ball, and you're gonna get it more reps. Nice and relaxed, try to relax your neck. About 10 more seconds. Then we're gonna switch and go to a plank. Good, squeeze those abdominal muscles. Let's do two more. One more, reach that chin to the ceiling. Good, all right. Gonna bring that ball around. We're just gonna do a basic plank, all right? So you're gonna come here. You want a nice straight line with your body. Drop and just hold. Let's go 30 seconds. If you need to drop down, Recover and come back up, perfectly fine. Just tighten those abs, breathe and hold. 30 seconds, we're coming up on 15. 30 seconds is a long time when you're doing stuff like this, but this is such a great exercise. 15 more seconds, you're really working your entire core. You're working your abs and your lower back. Nice straight line with your body and hold. And about five more seconds, all right? Hold, hold, hold. We're gonna go into rollouts, another great Abdominal exercise, excellent. Let's drop down, do a quick stretch in between, and come right here. All right, so now we're gonna roll the ball out and back. Again, working our entire core. So put your hands or your forearms on the ball. Let's go forearms to start, and just roll out. Drop those hips, come back. So again, a core exercise. Roll it out, drop your hips, bring it back. It's like that wheel, remember that wheel everyone used to do? Super hard exercise, this is a lot easier. We can manage how much of our body is on the ball. Fantastic core exercise. You're really gonna feel it in your lower back or work in your lower back, all right? Go down as far as you can, getting that straight line. We're gonna do five more seconds. And then we're gonna go to push-ups, your favorite. We're gonna do them on the ball, not easy. Awesome, that was 30 seconds. And just stretch, deep breath. All right, not easy. Now, again, beginners, you may do it on your knees. Come up, or you may just not go down as far. So we're gonna do 30 seconds again. Let's start from here. You're not gonna go down as far. Squeeze up. So now we're really getting our core muscles again, plus our upper body muscles, chest, shoulders, triceps. Just push. Not easy. 30 seconds. Get what you can. You may do a couple reps as you get stronger. And add more. Let's do 10 more seconds. And we're gonna do a couple rounds. So it's a circuit routine. I'm gonna do a bunch of these. Let's do one more. Now let's throw one more. Good. And excellent. All right, so now we're gonna go to a lunge. Not easy. You may hold on to a body bar, to a chair. You may start stationary without the ball, but this is just a great functional exercise. So you gotta kick that ball way back. We're gonna do 30 seconds each side, all right? So get in position, and then you're gonna drop and come up. See, not easy. We're working all these core muscles. You're working those leg muscles. Take your time, such a great exercise, not easy. You can do it though, you may do one or two reps again to start, you may kick the ball out, just be careful. Got about 13 more seconds. I'm just gonna switch sides. Oh, you can feel that burning. Down, up, let's do one more good one. Excellent, and come up, switch sides. Shake that out, switch. All right, same thing. You gotta make sure this knee, again, behind the toe. So I gotta put that ball way back. And use your arms to make it natural. Come down and up. 30 seconds. I use my hands to make it a natural movement. Helps me get back into those glutes. You really have to focus here. Such a great functional exercise. Not easy. If you fall, you might see me. That's okay. No one's perfect. All right, give me 10 more seconds. Really gonna feel that burn. Shifting that weight back, rolling that ball back with that other toe. Let's do one more, ready? So I'm gonna lose it. And good, back up. All right, so now let's go back to abs. Really fun ab one, not easy again. None of this is, it's easy, it doesn't change you. All right, so you can get in plank position, right like this. We're gonna do 30 seconds of reverse curls, all right? Nice, straight line, pull, 30 seconds, again. You may drop down, recover, come back. 30 seconds. It'll be a long time. That is the exercise. Good. Let's get 10 more seconds. Pull. Now 
we go to back extensions. Oh, work the whole body. One more. Excellent. All right, so now we're going to switch it around. That was ab. Let's go to our back. So, just like in a back extension machine, I'm going to roll up and just squeeze that lower back. Come down. Let's do 30 seconds. So you're going to feel those lower back muscles right over your belt. Squeeze up. Pause. Hold. rounds of what we just did. Squeeze. A couple more. And we're going to finish up with hamstring curl for the first set. Squeeze. Really great lower back. Strengthener. All right. Good enough. Hamstring curls. Final one of the circuit. And we're going to do it all two more times through. So, come back. It's a great one if you're a runner, an athlete. Get your core by lifting up, and then you're just gonna pull those knees in. Pull, squeeze. You get about 30 seconds of these two. Take your time, keep those hips up nice and high. Squeeze. So you're getting your lower back again. You're really gonna feel this. A lot of core involved here. Really important. Squeeze, do a couple more. Don't have to be perfect. Right around 30 seconds for each one. I'm starting to sweat. Let's do one more. Ready? One more good one. And pull, squeeze, and drop. Awesome. Let's do the whole thing two more times. So back to crunches. Now again, you're gonna get a fatigue. You might not get the same amount of reps for each one. 30 seconds. It's more important that you do the movement correctly. How many you do, I don't care how well you do it. It's not about how much you lift, it's about how much you engage that muscle. Squeeze. Shaking is good, it shows you're really engaging. Good. Sweating's good. Not everyone sweats as much as the next person. Two more. One more, we're going back to that plank. Squeeze, hold, awesome. Flip around. Plank number two, again. Want that nice straight line with your body. Down, and hold. Now, if you're super advanced or more advanced, intermediate, you want to make it a little harder. Turn your foot. Make it a little more unstable. You don't have to. You can stay right here. Just hold. I'd rather you do it right. Don't make anything more difficult until you're ready to go there. And hold. I'm going to start sweating soon. All over the place. Give me five more seconds. Tight abs, straight line, hold. We're going to those rollouts. Awesome. Let's drop. Let's just stretch that lower back. A lot of people ask me, you should feel it in your lower back. That's where we're working. It's going to be a little sore, but there's a difference between sore and pain. Right, you don't want it to be pain. And let's just roll out, ready? Let's go hands this time. You can either go back to where we were, or hands, a little harder, right? Reach, and come back. Take your time. Squeeze out. Come back, tight abs, I'm breathing. I'm engaging my abdominals, and I'm coming back. Really gonna feel this in your core, right? Squeeze, and back. Let's do 10 more seconds. Those push ups, your favorite. Listen, your least favorite exercise is usually the one that changes your body the most. Ready? Let's do one more. Awesome. And come back. You gotta dislike me a little bit. If you like me too much, I'm not doing my job. All right, push ups. Again, get stable first. Hold. Let's go. 30 seconds. Go a little deeper this time. Up. that harder, you can alternate those feet too. Either on the way up or the way down, your choice. And just push. Again, this workout's not gonna be super long. It doesn't have to be. There's nothing magical about a half hour, an hour. It's how hard you work. I'll have a nice puddle underneath me by the time we're done here. Push. Let's do two more. We're going to those lunges. We're gonna look tougher and tougher. Awesome job. 
All right, make sure this one you're gonna take a little longer to get set up on. This is harder, the more fatigued we get. Get that foot out front. Let's go, 30 seconds, take your time. We'll probably do less reps as we get fatigued, right? Make sure it's a good movement. Come up, use those hands, make it natural. About 30 seconds each side. Two more, no switch. Awesome. One more. Good. Switch sides. Take your time. If you need a little extra rest, miss a rep or two, that's okay. Make sure you're in good position. Walk that foot out. And let's go. Up and down. That weight should go back into your heel. It's not easy. See, here we go. Bring it back. Come down. I'm better on the other side. We all have that weak link, right? And reset and then get back. Let's do two more. Functional movements, right? Last one. Let's hold this one down. Knees behind the toe, sweat's dropping. And come up. All right, reverse curls. Again. Lower abs, that's what we're talking about. Your abs all contract at the same time, but you'll feel these a little more. Ready? Let's go. 30 seconds. Pull. Back. Pull. Back. Squeeze. Again, this workout will not be long, but you will feel it. Switch it around, back to those back extensions, super important. Lower back, roll up. I'm gonna take a little bit more of my body off this time. Hands behind the head. You can even put them here up to you. But you just wanna get that little bit of squeeze. The drop. A little bit of squeeze. Awesome. I'm not gonna stop the cameras here. I'm gonna sweat. You're gonna sweat. It won't be perfect. Okay. If it's perfect, you're not working hard enough. Oh, five more seconds. All right, let's do one more good one. Squeeze, hold. Hamstring curls. Really fun one for those hamstrings. Again, yeah. right to here. Hold. And then let's pull those hips up, which will just work that lower back even more. Squeeze hamstrings, glutes. Take your time. Pulling those heels towards your butt. This is the final circuit of the second round. Not final, we have one more round. You're doing great. Feel good about yourself doing these workouts. One more time, you ready? You can do it. Last round. Great job. Crunches, last time. You sweating with me? 30 seconds. You ready? And let's go, squeeze. Now, people always ask me, it's harder, if I'm here, it's a little easier. You may feel like your neck differently, but this generally is a little easier. Once you start bringing your hands back a tiny bit harder, squeeze, but only do what you can do well. Squeeze, you want to engage that muscle. If we make it too hard, we're not going to engage that muscle that we need. Squeeze, last round of crunches. Again, the amount of body I have off the ball will also affect how hard it is. Awesome, and good. Let's go to the plank. Last plank, let's make it good, all right? Right here, drop the hips. Good 30 seconds. Tight abs. You don't want to be too high. You don't want to be too low. You don't want to engage. I always think of, I got two boys. If one of them young boys was about to punch me in the stomach, that's how we hold our abs in, right? You're breathing, but they're tight. You can get confusing. So I'm not holding my breath, but my abs are tight. 10 more seconds. You know, we go to those rollouts, final set. Gotta love those rollouts. 
three, two, awesome. Push back, stretch a little bit. Deep breath. All right, roll out. Let's go back to forearms. Start here. Roll out. Come back. And go forward. Drop the hips. The more advanced you are, the stronger you are, the more you'll be able to drop these hips. You might not go as low right now. That's okay. If you have a mirror at home, it's good to use to see your body alignment, to see where you are. And push. Good. Let's do 10 more seconds. Drop, squeeze, hold. Such an easy piece of equipment. Stability ball. So much we can do off it. Let's do one last one. And then we'll push up. Last set. I know you hate them. All right. Ready? Let's go push ups. Nice and steady. Again, in that plank position. And drop. Up. 30 seconds. You made your three. You made your 15. Don't go too fast. So many people do push ups incorrectly. They become pulses instead of push ups. I gotta engage my chest, my shoulders, my triceps. Drop into it. Come back up. This is a little different. We're not going to go as low. We're getting a lot of core engagement here. Let's do four more seconds. Last rep. And good. All right, lunges. Last set. Be careful. Again, you may go stationary. You may hold on to something. We may stumble. That's okay. Ready? Let's go. Final 30 seconds here. Use those hands for balance. If I put my hands behind my head on my hips, it could be harder, right? So I'm going to do what I can to make sure my weight is on my heel and I'm driving backwards, coming up, driving back, good, 10 seconds then we're switching, great job, really focused on this one, not easy, one more good one, not bad, there we go, switch. Other side, this is my tougher side. Take a second to get ready. You want that ball back far enough that I can push back and keep my knee behind my toe. Let's go here. I gotta focus. Staring at something actually helps with your balance. So you may pick a spot and just stare at it. And go back. Start to look at the camera. I'm gonna start to fall. Push. Do 15 more seconds. You're almost there. Great job. Again, not a super long workout. Look at me, I'm sweating, we're working. It's how hard you work. Days of long workouts are over. It's about consistency. Let's do two more. One more. Awesome. Reverse curls, abs. All right, I'm gonna throw in some push-ups. We're gonna make it a little harder. You don't have to do them. It's our final round. If you're feeling strong, do it. If not, you're just gonna pull, right? But, you wanna, Push up in the pool. Pull. Push. Last round. Or you just pull. It's up to you. Finish strong. 30 seconds. Anyone can do anything for 30 seconds, right? Almost finished. Two more exercises. 10 more seconds of these. Push. Pull. Give me one more good one. Down. And pull. Awesome. Back extensions. Final set. Fall in, roll up. Feet that are wider apart are going to give you more stability. And squeeze. It's all about feeling that lower back. Squeeze. I don't like a good sweat. Oh. I'm in the gym. People tend to not sit too close to me when I'm working out. For obvious reasons. Squeeze. Sweating. Three more. Two more. And one last one. Awesome. Good enough. Hamstring curls. You are finished. Ready? This is it. Great job. Finish strong. Get those hamstrings. So get those heels up on the ball. Lift those hips. And let's pull. Get ready. Pull. Final 30 seconds. You've done an amazing job. Body. 
lot of core engagement. Great workout to do a couple times a week. You will get better and better at it. Squeeze, let's do five more, you're finished. Five, good, count backwards, four more. Four, really squeeze those hamstrings, glutes. Three, two more. One more. Awesome. Great job. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I sweated a little less. Have a great day, great job.